Hey, what's up guys? I had a really rough night. Uh, my car had trouble and I got stuck on the side of the road for literally all night long. I got home at 7 a.m. So I need something to cheer me up. And I thought opening up this brand new printer would be the great way to do it. This is the Sun Lu S8 Plus. Uh, I ordered the S8. It says S8 Plus on the box. Uh, and, and the weird thing is I can't find an S8 Plus on the website. <laughs> so we'll see. Uh, let's see. I've got the website up here. I paid $170. There was a coupon on the website. The weight is about 12 kilograms. Uh, it is certified. Uh, printing size 310 by 310 by 400 millimeters. That means it's big. <laughs> it's like easily big enough to do a helmet. And uh, so I'm excited to print one of those. I don't know if it'll do a stormtrooper helmet or something like that, but it'll be really cool. It uses uh, a TF or in America we say a CF card, or as I should say SD card. We use a micro SD card. The speed is 20 to 100 millimeters per second. Uh, the bag does heat. Uh, the temperature goes up to 100 Celsius. Uh, nozzle will, oh, it takes either 0 0.4 or 0 0.8 millimeters. Uh, it comes with 0 0.4. It has filament runout detection. So yeah, let's open it up and see what's inside. All right, got my friend Pokey here. Let's get this opened up. Okay, get this opened up. Right, got big styrofoam. Over there somewhere. Okay, uh, I think I'm gonna have to take this down and take everything out separately. But it, it does look like everything is nicely packed. Lots of styrofoam. You see the uh, dual lead screws are pre-greased. Uh, yeah, that, that all looks good. Let's see if I can take just this out. Go. All right, so let's look at this here. We've got a manual, guidebook. We've got in here we have some tools, multiple Allen wrenches, a nice big wide scraper, yeah, spanner wrench. Hey, okay, some extra stuff, and a power cord. got some uh, acrylic pieces and a roll. I think this is the spool holder. That's a little disappointing because the website showed a different one. All right. So uh, we've got some glue stick, some zip ties, USB cable. Looks like an extra end stop. And a... Looks like a, this micro SD card reader. USB. All right, uh, I'm going to take everything out. Okay, we got the printer out of the box. Got all the accessories. Uh, it did come with a very small spool of filament. That's nice though. I mean, some of them just come with like a few feet worth. But uh, yeah, so uh, I believe there's a pair of side cutters or nippers in here. you back. <laughs> All right. No. Yep. Just like the ones I got from Creality. <laughs> okay. So, uh, and then need these to snip some of these zip ties. And on the micro SD card that it came with, there is a set of seven videos and I 
copied one to my phone here and the first one shows the setup instructions. So I'm going to be following those and we'll get set up. Okay, got it all put together. It actually was fairly easy. There was really just, uh, I can't show it, there's a couple of uh, screws that go in here with some uh, T-nuts you know, in each side. And then you have to turn the whole thing on its side and put in four screws underneath of these posts. And then we're good to go. And so I already went ahead and switched the uh, voltage to 110 uh, or 115 for America. Um, uh, that was very difficult to see. Like, I don't know, you have to like stick your head through here and hold a flashlight. It's a mess. But so anyway, uh, I also assembled the uh, filament holder. Again, the website, the pictures show one mounted up here. So I don't know why they sent this one. Uh, okay, so let's plug it in. Now again, I notice also the power switch and the plug are in an awkward location right here, which means that if the bed is pushed over, you can't easily get to it. It just barely reaches my power strip down there. Oh well, let's get her turned on. It says Sun Woo. Okay. Go to prepare. I saw some of this in the video on how to level the bed. Prepare. Bed leveling. And again, bed leveling. It's moving. Okay, we're home. Click to begin. Okay, it's a piece of paper under there. And funny thing, this is the same piece of paper I've used to level every printer I've had, regardless of FDM or resin. Let's get them under there. Okay, that is very loose, or very tight. Up. There we go. There we go. Okay. Ooh. 
This is nice, it's like semi-auto bed leveling. <laughs> Okay. According to the printer, it is leveled. Very beepy. <laughs> Let's put some filament in. <clears throat> okay, so <clears throat> go right here. And put the whole thing over here. All right, let's print something. Hopefully, got the micro SD card here. I'm gonna assume it goes in upside down. They <laughs> usually do. It actually goes in right side up. All right, let's try and restart it. What kind of files we have? We have test one and test two. <laughs> I don't know what they are. But let's try test one. Okay, the bed is heated. The nozzle's almost there. All right, we're up to up to temperature. Oh, things are happening. It's exciting. printing. All right, so I've been having a lot of fun printing with this. Uh, did a few things. Let's start off the, uh, the first thing that was printed that came on the card. Uh, yeah, it was a shamrock, or a clover, as it's referred to. Uh, yeah, it's, it's neat, but mm, what, else, what am I going to do with it? <laughs> Let's put that there. And next up, of course, a benchy. Uh, have a little bit of stringing going across the, uh, the doorway there. And... A little bit in the windows. Uh, I did measure it and it is like two millimeters longer than it's supposed to be. The height and the width are right spot on. Uh, but yeah, I, so I'm not sure what I'll have to look into how to fix that width issue, but otherwise it looks pretty good. Put it over there. All right, so we got the, uh, the clover, the shamrock, we've got the benchy, and then I wanted to get a little bit bigger. <laughs> so we've got uh, Darth Vader, and uh, he came out very well. I'm quite pleased with how he came out. Uh, it prints with no supports. Uh, this is by Eastman on My Mini Factory. You can download it for free. Uh, it has to print that way, so it's very uh, at a tough angle, so it does need a wide brim around the bottom just to make sure it doesn't tip over. And then the base uh, prints very well, also with no supports. I did find uh, inside the hole in his base is, uh, it looks like there's like a little bit of bridging issues in there and it prevents the nub in the base from going all the way in. So it'll go in, 
it'll stay, but it's quite wobbly, so I will have to glue that in. Uh, that was printed with some uh, Sun Lu black and some of the silver from Longer 3D. Both of those I really like. And of course the, uh, the white ones were printed with the spool that came with the printer. So, you know, that's pretty big, but you know, I, won't, I could easily print that on my Ender 3. I wanted something big, <laughs> like something that really shows what this can do. And uh, so I thought I'd do a vase, and I thought I'd do one of these vases that I have already printed before, but bigger. Like, this is normal size that I designed it at. I wanted to do 200%. <laughs> so, I started out, but that's where the problems began. It was horrible. It, uh, it was just like moving very slowly, little stops and starts all the way around. And the, the walls looked terrible, or like a cheese grater, or like cloth. And it's awful. And so I, you know, I tried again, and then I tried with some, uh, some smaller samples, and they were all doing the same thing. And, you know, I was talking to people on Reddit and talking to other people online, trying to figure out what this could be. And finally, uh, Builder's Mark, uh, over on uh, Twitter, had, had an idea for me. He knows these Sun Lu S8 printers very well. And he said to take the micro SD card, copy everything off of it, reformat it, and then copy just the file you want to do in vase mode. And it worked. My little sample vase here, and test run, worked perfectly. It looks very good. Uh, but yeah, that's not the big one. This is the big one. <laughs> it's, it's almost ludicrous looking. It came out pretty well. Uh, the problem is that you might be able to see there's a little bit of warping around this area. And uh, this was like a 11 hour print, I think. And uh, yeah, there's a little bit of warping. I'm guessing it became too heavy for one wall of PLA to support. And you can see, oh, I think I just broke it. <laughs> it is a little bit bendy, and yeah, I just broke it. Oh, well, uh, the other thing is uh, this whole top section. So I had it right about here when I went to bed for the night, and I woke up, and it was finished, but this whole top section is really, like, fuzzy. Like, you know, there's little tiny bumps all over it. I have no idea what caused that. But... It looks pretty good otherwise, and that warping kind of almost looks intentional. But that's all that I printed. I'm going to be printing some sort of a big helmet, a stormtrooper or something. Uh, that's going to be really fun. I'll be sure to share that online. Uh, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Give me a like. Uh, there's a thank you button underneath the video if you want to help out the channel or help out uh, with uh, some of my car repairs. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was a good time. Leave a comment. I'm on Patreon as well. And I'll see you next time.